Hello everyone, this is Soham Pramanik and you are watching my channel on how to's, tutorials and technical know-hows. Previously I had posted a video on how to hack and find answers to questions in online tests and exams which was on request from another video which I had posted prior to that which was how to hack timers and increase and manipulate time clocks in online exams. So now this time I have received a lot of requests from many of my followers, subscribers and many other viewers regarding uh, specific, some specific platforms on which they want to find answers from like uh, Moodle, uh, Classroom, Classtune, Blackboard, Mega Exams. So this video here right now is uh, for uh, Moodle. Let's find out how to find answers in Moodle itself and so let's get started. Okay, so this is uh, the website of Moodle as you can see where we can, uh, where many of the people give uh, online tests, exams. So let's see how we can go for such an online test or exam and uh, we can find out uh, answers in it. So we'll go for this uh, test here or uh, a quiz online test or exam as you say it's all one and the same thing so right now as you can see we have come to this test and you can see there are questions from 1 2 3 4 till 8 and the special thing to mention here or catch here is that as you can notice all the answers are not similar they're discrete as you can see first second questions are the answers are radio buttons second one is a third one is a drop down box as you can drop down list as you can see well fourth and fifth ones are uh, like uh, text boxes where you have to write the entire word as a type the word as a whole you don't have any options so again there are radio buttons so in these kind of exams the videos which I have shown you before uh, in that like you always have a tick mark or a cross mark for uh, answers correct or wrong it may not hold good because you have to find uh, write the entire word as an answer so I'll show you how to go about uh, such a test that will almost complete any kind of test as you can see in any platform okay so for example let's suppose for this first question we go uh, go for 1.8 million people for this let's say the answer is true okay just take let's take it for an example second question let's suppose so we go for uh, a month five minutes sharp third question uh, suppose we go for this uh, this is uh, for Latrine is uh, bed structures are made of uh, bamboo. Okay, so now suppose we I don't know the answer of this fourth question at all. Suppose I, I just leave it blank. Fifth question, I'm not sure. I don't know. Suppose I leave it blank because there are figures to be written in that. Now here, this drop down I'm writing this as Charles. This is diary. Okay, uh, largest dessert, uh, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, I mean, if, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's suppose it is Africa. You can clear choice and rewrite again. Uh, if you do this, then you can again write. So, let's suppose this is it. And for the last question, let's suppose we write it, uh, shows as molecular structure which is 2 is no way this is looking like no water molecule. So, let's suppose we write it false. Now, here as you can see you are not getting to know what your whatever you have chosen to uh, opt for the answers they are correct or wrong so now you go for look closely what I do you go for finish attempt so you click on finish attempt and you see this page comes here you can see for the questions 1 through 8 I mean 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 till 8 as you can see the status of the answers are saved like first second questions you attempted third question also you attempted so they are like answers saved fourth question and fifth question were uh, check, uh, uh, text boxes as you remember so you not did not write anything in them so this is not yet answered here sixth seventh eighth are like saved so as you can see these are already marked now at this point of time you have already submitted your answers but ev evaluation has not come on screen yet this is the correct time for you to see, find out the answers with using a little trick that I will show you. I'm sure you will find this video useful. Please do subscribe, share and like this video. 
and let's see how it's done okay now before finally clicking on the submit all and finish what I'll do is I'll click on this I'll open a new tab here I'll type view hyphen source colon okay and here I'll go for I'll just click on this and I'll copy till here control C I'll do a control V but instead of this summary I'll write review so like I found out that for this platform they uh, have answers in kind of a PHP file or some page called review where they uh, calculate the answers and show you in the end but I'm trying to find out what the answers are from before I submit so this is how I do it now if I do this and I press enter this entire code opens up in front of you right but important thing to note okay now let's see suppose now I now since the page has opened up I don't want to submit and finish I want to return to attempt so that I can now correct the wrong questions wrong answers that I want but now you remember the first question was what 1.8 million right so let's try to do control F and this opens up this find let's search with 1.8 as you can see there is you're not being able to find anything any research result over here why the reason is because there is no parameters or arguments so as you can say as you say for this link this URL as you can see here your attempt number is 62 and same ID is 168 so these two parameters are very important for you to give over here in order to get the answers for evaluation for your that entry so what you will do now is you will close this and just copy this from here look closely click here paste it ok and press enter ok so this is what comes up now as you can see here you have got a lot of code but how will you find your answers in this code what you will do is right now you will go for control F again find 1.8 once you do that here you can see the question has come up 1.8 million people this entire question is here so now in the code you have to understand that which is the question which is the answer and how are the options typed I'll show you so this is the question text which is here you can if you follow this line over here this is select one there is a radio button so select one now this is correct incorrect this is true false okay so first option was true it is marked true this is just a label of the first option second option was false here now the feedback shows that no it's actually much more than that so for your answer of true they are saying it's no and this was about to come once you submit it finally by clicking it here but you have already found it out from before it is 3.4 million so the correct answer is false I'll just zoom it for you uh, sorry I'll just uh, okay so I have just zoomed it for you uh, okay so as you can see the 1.8 million people is here and the correct answer is false so what you will do now is you will just go to return attempt return to attempt that will take you back now your previous answers are saved you will make it false now let's go for the next 
question again here as you can see next question is American taking five minutes chart okay so American taking five minutes chart for this again select one that is zero button is there true false afternoon month and there should be day somewhere in between first option is this a day okay so you have to be really cautious in finding out the answers from this uh, huge piece of code here they are saying feedback the correct answer is a day so you go back click on a day now third question you have three drop downs these are on the edge of example of example of uh, in question including video so here you can see example of question using video bamboo riverbed all these things you're getting so let as you can see latrine is another word for answer to choose correct answer is here the structures are made of bamboo latrine is in the word for toilet these are on the edge of a riverbed so this is the entire answer you go back edge of a riverbed and the for toilet structures are made of bamboo you go down okay so you play this okay now you go here this is a uh, word which was sounded you have to spell it correctly so one this is the question pronounced below same thing pronounced below okay now you have to go for the correct answer is cholera so what you do is just control C from here and control V here that's it okay five what percentage of water world's water is available to drink let's find out I think it's one I'll still find out as I'm pretty sure it's the question feedback correct answer is one as you can see here it's one so just type one okay let's find out the husband of Queen Victoria so here again Queen Victoria answer is Charles no he's Elizabeth's son the correct answer is Albert so here you can see you are being given the answer as per what we had chosen before so you make the changes quickly and cleverly Albert and the correct answer is typhoid okay so is Albert and this is typhoid right La second last question is largest desert largest desert is surprise correct answer is Antarctica that's pretty there's a reason over here also 250 millimeters anyway let's not go into the geography part of it it's Antarctica now eighth question I have chosen as false this sure is not H2 I don't need to go for this coding kind of a thing to go for this yes the correct answer is false it is most certainly not water it's H2SO4 so sulfuric acid anyone would know that still my aim here is to find out the answers which I found out now I'll finish attempt I have written all answers all answers are saved now I'll submit all and finish submit all and finish and voila my grade is 100 out of 100 that is 9 out of 9 all questions correct brilliant you were a true water lover in front of earth see it's correct correct all are correct now I'll do a finish review and as you can see the highest grade 100 upon 100 and the best overall feedback which you will ever give so as you can see 
for this last attempt I've got full marks of 100 so guys that's how you do it I'm sure you have found the video very useful and worth watching for again so please do subscribe like and share the video with everyone and in case if you have missed the other videos they are marked on the screen with red arrow right now I'm sure your friends will appreciate the video and find them very useful so please do share subscribe and like the video thank you for watching see you on the next one this is Soham Pramanik